We are illustrating the brute force algorithm for solving the traveling salesman problem. We'll begin with five different cities that the proverbial traveling salesman needs to fly to and then return back home. Now, a tour is one particular sequence of cities that allows the salesman to go from place to place covering all of the different cities and then able to return back home. In this case, since there's five cities, uh, we can show that there are 5 minus 1 factorial, or 4 factorial, uh, that's equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or 24 different tours to look at or to consider. The brute force algorithm considers all of these tours and calculates the cost of every one of them. Now, in some sense, we don't have to do all 24 because any particular sequence of cities or tour can be reversed and it would have the same cost as the original. In other words, going uh, counterclockwise for all five of these cities would have the same cost of going clockwise through all these cities. In any case, we're, the algorithm you're seeing is calculating all 24, not half of those, or 12. At this point, you can see the optimal tour, or the cheapest tour, is shown here. By calculating all of them, it can select the cheapest. The downside for the brute force algorithm is what happens when we increase the numbers of cities. So if I add a city here in Kansas, I go from five to six cities, look at the number of tours that we have to calculate. We went from only 24 all the way to 120 because 120 is 5 factorial. For 6 cities, there's 120 different tours. Now half that many uh, can be the reversals of the original, so you really only have to check 60, even though in the video you're seeing all 120. So this brings up an important issue for all algorithms, that, and that is the interplay between being an accurate algorithm versus an efficient algorithm. The brute force algorithm is by far the most accurate for the traveling salesman problems. Why? Because no matter how long it takes, it will find the cheapest tour. It will find the right answer. That makes it very accurate. Unfortunately, it doesn't do very well in the efficiency department because although it may find the right answer, it may take a long time to do so. And to make that point even more, what if we had 12 different cities? Then there would be 11 factorial different tours, and that's almost 40 million. So the factorial grows so quickly that it makes the brute force algorithm not very efficient. And so there are other algorithms that we could suggest that are efficient even if we lose some of the accuracy. But in this case, as we work through here, the optimal tour is discovered. Uh, Kansas to Florida, Florida, Virginia, Minnesota, Texas, California, back to Kansas, and there we have it.